Welcome to all those sideways horror fans. My name is Adam, and today we are going to be honoring the Child's Play franchise because 35 years ago in 1988, a little film called Child's Play did come out starring unusual horror icon, which we have come to love and know as Chucky. Today, we, I'm going to give you guys my personal, personal ranking of all eight films in the Child's Play franchise, ranking them from worst to best, as these lists usually do. One quick reminder before I get started with my ranking, the TV show will not be ranked here. I know there's three seasons of it, but we won't, won't be ranking here because this is strictly a film ranking. And also, all lists are subjective, which means my list ain't right, but this is my personal list, so I would love to invite you to hop into that comment section and join the conversation down there and share your list and some of your quick stories about Chucky, and I will be in there typing away with, and responding to you guys and joining your guys' conversation here as well. My personal worst film, I know this film does have an audience here, but personally, I'm going to go with number eight. That is Seed of Chucky. Seed of Chucky came out in 2004 and has an 87-minute runtime, which is kind of a really good runtime for these kind of films, and has a really awesome opening of this first-person perspective of a toy running through a house and killing people you think it's chucky but it could be somebody else right now uh, this film right here was full-fledged camp campiness and is one that going into the franchise because i've seen the franchise much later than most people have i saw the, the first film a couple years ago so i knew of that the the um the inf infamous uh nature of this film and of course, I try to go into open-minded, but it just this film just didn't work for me. It was really overly campy. It was self-referential, and uh, of course, the character and of Tiffany and Chucky having a baby was kind of an interesting concept at the end of Bride, and I thought it was going to be completely something different. Again, uh, Glenn and Glenda, played by Billy Boyd. I respect the this portrayal here a lot more. Uh, this is definitely a film that I definitely want to revisit because I did watch the documentary Living with Chucky, and I kind of got an interesting for a different perspective on the that film based off the documentary here. So I would love to go back and revisit. This is definitely one that I haven't revisited as much as the other films because it has that, always has that sour uh, taste in my mouth. I wanted more from this movie, and of course, you know, hearing negativity about a film before you watch watch it could have some play in why I don't like it as much so I'm fully aware that I should definitely go rewatch this one again but I didn't have a fun time watching it the first time so I'm really reluctant to do so coming in number seven on my list is the remake of Child's Play that came out in 2019 and Mark Hamill this time is the voice of Chucky uh, a great voice actor I loved him in the Arkham series of course the Batman animated show as the Joker here fantastic voice actor and he actually does a pretty dang good job with the voice of Chucky if I do say so myself has a really great cast which would be a total of like a cast that I would love to have in like every movie Aubrey Plaza Brian Tyree Henry even Mark Hamill here was also some of the big notable names here and Gabriel Bateman plays Andy Barclay here as well he he's relatively fine here and this again another film I haven't watched too much did the first viewing kind of uh put a little sour taste in my mouth because even though I love Mark Hamill here he's no Brad Dorif there are some really interesting kills here and uh, some really fun things that do happen that uh, makes it really interesting so it's not even though it's at the bottom of my list this is where the list really gets entertaining for me and I really have a fun had a fun time with this movie but again I, I'm a huge Brad Dorif fan so he, that that voice of Chucky is a really high war for me if with Brad Dorif so Mark Hamill while he does it justice it's just not quite him but it is a really entertaining film that has some really cool kills I also didn't really care for the fact that it was a computer chip that went faulty instead of being like a serial ki a killer of uh, Charles Lee Ray trying to take over a toy it's just so much more entertaining when you know it's a guy controlling a doll not a computer chip malfunctioning so it's a little negative here there's some fun times to be had number six to my list may be a good conversation starter here and that is cult of chucky which came out in 2017 it's the follow-up of curse of chucky there's some really interesting things that do happen here it's a really self-contained movie that takes place in a psychiatric ward which is a very awesome place to have a film set especially a chucky movie the talking point here is a lot of cool kills and a lot of things that really are awesome to see uh, especially with the or some of the kills over the top that were done here the ending for me is it's a good talking point here because i didn't really quite work for me 
especially when they start splitting off into different bodies here. While the kills are really fun and there's some really good lines here and the ending is kind of bonkers to think about, I, unfortunately, it didn't really pay off as much as I wanted to. And it was really cool to see Jennifer Tilly showing up at the end with Alex Vincent here as well. I feel like the return of Annie Barclay was kind of a missed opportunity for me. And I just wanted to see more from that. Uh, however, it just didn't really quite live up to what my expectations were because I really am a, a fan of, a, of another film here. Uh, that we'll talk about shortly. Uh, so it, it kind of missed the marks for me, but this is another one that I could see with a couple more rewatches could move up a, a spot or two. Before I continue on my personal ranking, don't forget to share your takes down in the comments section and make sure you guys slash that subscribe button to join more future conversation. All right, number five on my list is Child's Play 3, which came out in 1991. Now this one, I, I can understand that people have a little lower. For me, this is a really fun one. I really love the quips here. Don't fuck with the Chuck and a lot of the funny one-line Liners here and having a, um, Andy Barclay in a military school. One side note is Alex Vincent's not in this reprising his role, which is kind of a bummer. However, Justin Wallen does a pretty decent job as Andy here. Here, uh, it's really fun to see um, Chucky at a military school killing people. Uh, really fun things that uh, happen here, and the very the ending climax of the film is also uh, just uh, has a smile on my face. Getting really fun one-liners, an interesting atmosphere to uh, have a Chucky horror film. Uh, really a lot of fun here, and I, that's why it's kind of in the middle for me because it's it's really good. But it, there's other ones that are, I like more. Number four on my list, I'm going with Bride of Chucky here. I love the introduction of a new kind of character here with Tiffany, which Jennifer Tilly does a fantastic job as her voice, and having the back. Back and forth with Brad Dorf is perfect perfection there. Uh, this game did come out in 1998. is uh, kind of a perfect late 90s movie here, especially with a lot of the funny quips and dialogue. It's kind of a fun slasher as well. And kind of a love story. I really loved that. And the ending left me so hopeful of what could possibly become. And unfortunately, C did come after that. But Bride of Chucky is just a fun, entertaining romp through the 90s here. And Ch Chucky and Tiffany killing side by side like, you know, their love needed to have. So I, I really dig that and that film so much. There's, uh, this is where they uh, start getting to more of campy nature, which is kind of perfect for the late 90s. And it's kind of perfect to kind of change up the formula, which is perfect. They just go too much camp in the seat of Chucky. So. Let's go on to the next one. Number three on my list, of course, it's got to be Curse of Chucky, which came out in 2013 and starts Fiona Dorif as Anika, who's a kind of a paraplegic here, uh, who is strictly in a wheelchair the entire movie, which is awesome. Uh, it's, it's a fun device having Chucky going after her as well, and it's kind of father-daughter conflict off screen, which is cool too. Uh, there's a lot of fun things. A different kind of Chucky design than normal, but then of course they switch it up at the very end, which is awesome. Uh, I liked how it's also really self-contained. Of course, with the downfall of what Seed became, uh, of course this one took much longer to put out into the, uh, and didn't even go out the theaters. It went straight to v uh, VOD, which I think is a kind of a right call to do. It kind of got a reboot there as well. So hold, held on to some things from the past, but also was able to change up some of the things and make it really back to being a self-contained like one uh you know one setting uh film here like the very first movie i uh, really dug curse of chucky a lot and again i'm all about atmosphere and i feel like that that house was creepy enough and having chucky run around and killing people again in a very fun way uh, i really dug quite a bit now the last two spots on my list are really hard to decide which one's number one which one's number two but essentially I i'm going with Child's Play, the very first film in the franchise, which came out in 1988. I really liked this one a lot, especially after doing multiple more rewatches. And I do have a review on the channel, so drop, look down at that pinned comment down there. You can find my review for that film there. Uh, this is a great kind of opening film of the franchise, especially the is and is andy crazy is chucky really trying to kill people who's this charles lee ray character Ope has a great shootout and opening kind of scene there and you really don't believe at first that charles lee ray has taken over this doll until it's revealed near the end of the third act in the third act there and of course all hell breaks loose there it has doesn't have as many kills as others but there's a better mystery factor if this doll is real or not and of course when the doll is revealed it, uh, that he's uh, has charles lee ray in him Oh, Chucky is on a rampage, and it's, it's fun to see this you know, this mother and her son trying to go and kill a doll. All Andy wanted was a good guy doll for his birthday. Unfortunately, he got Charles Lee Ray for his birthday instead. Poor Andy. 
Uh, but a great fun film to open up this franchise, and who knew Chucky would become an institution? Of course, number one has to go to 1990s Child's Play 2. From the very first moment I saw this movie, I knew that this was my favorite film. I've watched this a lot more since, and it continues to get better. They learned so much while making the first Child's Play movie that they took that, built upon it, and made Child's Play 2 so much better. This is the peak of this franchise, and even though the franchise doesn't go downhill from this, it, it, it completely is a great franchise. However... This is my apex here. Uh, there's some really fun, funny lines here, some really awesome kills, and just really great moments. And, of course, the awesome poster of uh, Chucky uh, cutting off uh, Jack in the Box's head is fantastic. It's one of the best posters of this franchise. Of course, this is where I think is the best movie. Well, that's my quick ranking of the Child's Play franchise from worst to best. Get my list. I love Chucky. I would love to see another movie on the big screen here. and definitely got to check out the TV show. So let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of my list or and. Share your list down below, and let's have a good conversation about Chucky. Till next time, guys, my name is Adam. We'll see you in the next video.